Bankers Trust is committed to strengthening the communities it serves. They partner with local organizations like the Cedar Rapids Public Library Foundation to support programs that nurture and encourage growth, stability, and continued success. We'd like to thank Bankers Trust for sponsoring this workforce development program, and we'd like to thank the Cedar Rapids Public Library Foundation for its continued support. Hi, this is Meredith with the Cedar Rapids Public Library, and joining us today is J.T. Breslin with Remedy Intelligence Staffing, here to talk a little bit about the advantages of using a staffing agency, what Remedy Intelligence Staffing has to offer, and what some steps are for you folks all out there in library land to get started on a path to employment. So without further ado, welcome and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Meredith. I appreciate it. Well, now this is this video will air in a brand new year. And so we're going to put 2020 behind us. It's new. It's exciting. You can hear in the background, things are new and exciting, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I think if folks are looking for, I mean, not just work because of maybe, you know, being laid off during the winter or COVID layoffs, but I think a lot of people are looking for a transition and a fresh start. So if you don't mind being our expert, can you tell us what kind of advantages are there of finding employment through a staffing agency? Well, we have folks who use us for a lot of different reasons. Um, some, as you mentioned, are looking for a change. Mm -hmm. So this gives them an opportunity to hear about five, six, seven, ten different types of jobs that we may have with different clients so that they can kind of think about, well, do I want to work in a warehouse? Do I know how to drive a fork truck? Uh, is it an office type position? What am I really looking for? What is my availability? And what's happening in the market? Mm. Uh, a lot of times companies use us as their HR department, an extension of their HR department. So they can, I guess the best way to put it is try before they buy. Mm go to XYZ company as a temporary employee, you do a good job. They see that you've got the skills, uh, the reliability, the performance they're looking for. They can hire you on then directly. And they don't have the unemployment issues to deal with or the uh, other related costs if for some reason that person turns out not to be a good fit. So we can help do some pre-screening. We can help people if they've got questions about their resume, their work history, what kind of things should they include? What kind of things should they uh, explain? Sure. You know, and, and that's one thing we do most everything online now. So giving us as much information as possible when a person applies helps us do a better job when we're interviewing them. So it sounds like it's beneficial for both an employer and an employee on both oh, ends. It can really work out. Very much so. Um, we find that uh, uh, some folks want something to do during a transition. One example is several years ago, there was a, a very well-established company here in Cedar Rapids. Uh, the, the operations were closed here. They moved everything to another plant. And they had employees who had been there many years. So most of them got some type of a severance. Uh, some of them we talked to that were just looking for something to do while they job hunted. Uh, some of them found some opportunities, and I think there's probably two or three of them we actually uh, brought on board that were hired by a client. So whether you're using it for a short-term fill uh, while you're looking for work, or whether it's a way to open a door to get into a different company, uh, those are some of the ways that people can, can use our services. Uh, some companies are very, very particular about who they'll bring on board. Mm -hmm. This lets them widen that net a little bit to look for those good employees that maybe don't have as much work history as they'd like, or sure. maybe not as much time in a particular task or skill that they'd like. But they can see if the person shows up every day, does a good job, works hard, well, then we should consider them to, to hire them, to bring them on board. That's a great point. I hadn't considered that, but it really is 
it really does seem advantageous from both sides that way too. It's yeah, not, we, not often client, that everything works out so well for both sides. We have one client who actually refers folks to us that as impressive as your resume and, and work experience at this mm -hmm. time, we don't see you as a candidate for our program. However, we would recommend that you talk to our partners at Remedy Staffing about opportunities they may have. And we can get some people in the door that way. Well, this kind of is a nice parlance into my next question. So there are several different staffing agencies in the area. What really? is unique about <laughs> what is like what is unique about Remedy? I know that that there are reasons that I thought it was an interesting agency to contact for this presentation or for this, you know, kind of education experience. Sure. But from the inside, tell us what you think. Well, Remedy was founded in 1965 in California, and it was one of three major staffing firms in the state, and then it moved out nationally, and uh, they did it as a franchise operation. So uh, the gentleman and his wife that I work for, the franchise owners, they've owned this franchise now for over 22 years. Wow. So there's local ownership, there's local control. Uh, over the years, there's been some changes in our uh, leadership of the parent company, and we're now part of EmployBridge. We are the largest, part of the largest industrial, light industrial staffing company in the country. Wow. So we have resources, we have training, uh, we have a partnership now uh, with the Better Life Academy, with Penn Foster. People can actually come in and take free courses online. Um, once they've worked so many hours for us, I think it's 80 hours, 80 hours they're yeah. eligible to take courses so they can improve their skills. Uh, they can, maybe they want to find out about welding or fork truck driving or any number of things. They can take some, some computer-based learning to see if that's an area they want to pursue. So then obviously they'd be a candidate for a community college uh, uh, type of certification or to a client who does those types of certifications. And I so, couldn't help but notice that some of those things are like personal well-being too. There's like budgeting absolutely. and stress management. And I think that's really impressive that like a nationally franchised company, you know, granted with this local ownership and leadership, it, it really sees an employee as a whole person. Well, and, I thought and that was we really impressive. We have to, because if you're not able to have your personal life in some type of order, you're not gonna be a good employee, whether you're a temp, whether you're hired on as an employee, whether you're a manager, mm -hmm. uh, whether you're the president of the company or the president of the country, you've gotta have things in order to be able to perform. And uh, that has been a very um, valuable tool. And we have had a number of, uh, of our employees take advantage of different parts of it. I'm so glad to hear that people are able to take advantage of that, you know, mm -hmm. they, because sometimes it's hard to find extra time to do that, whether, right. I mean, especially if you're in between jobs, or maybe you need a supplement, you have a family, or you're taking care of somebody else, you know, there are a lot of things going on, especially right now, I'm glad that people, you know, are really making good on that opportunity, right, it's pretty impressive, um, going forward, so Remedy is unique. It sees its employees as holistic people. What is like, what does it look like for people seeking employment that would come to Remedy? Like what kind of opportunities are there and how, how do people get started? Well, we had been moving to a more um, online presence mm -hmm. just because that's how the, the, the market is going in terms of advertising is all social media now uh, or online job boards. Uh, so we have moved more and more the application process and the initial screenings online. Uh, so you go to our website and we can provide that information for you to share later. Uh, you apply, we get that application through our system. We contact you, we go through some basic questions and the more information that we have, as I mentioned before, in that application, the better the job we can do, our recruiters can do in making that match. Uh, we want to try and get people to work as quickly as possible. 
yes, I, I am well aware there are other staffing companies out there. And if I don't work with that person and help them today, they might go somewhere else. Yeah. So it's, it's important that we do everything we can thoroughly, but as quickly as we can to help that person make a placement to find that start. That's really great. I'm also curious, you had mentioned before about you know, the, the ability to be employed as temp to hire, mm -hmm. long-term temp, yes. and then as a day laborer. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So there's a lot of flexibility of schedule too, it seems like, in the positions that are open. We get a lot of um, requests, do you have any part-time work? Well, depends on how you define part-time. Yeah. If you want to work two or three eight-hour shifts a week, we can do that. Generally, we don't have things that are just four hours a day. So that type of part-time, that's going to be harder to find. Um, some clients want someone who can be there every day. Some clients uh, can only work a first shift or a second shift or a third shift. That's where they need their staffing support. So it, those are all things we have to look at and make sure uh, if, for example, if someone rides the bus, third shift is going to be harder for them because they're going to have to make arrangements with an NTS or, or some type of, of a car service. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a first or second shift, where are they in relationship to a bus line if that's their means of transportation? Uh, so we always want to make sure we have uh, a, a good explanation for our applicants of how do you get to this job? Uh, you have reliable transportation and here are some things to consider. If, if you say, yeah, I, I take the bus, okay. Then we can wow. talk through some of those factors. That's so great. I mean, I'm sure that it helps you on your end because these people are then retained, right? There's, you don't hire somebody and find out two days later, it's not gonna work out. But also that's so great to be supportive of people looking for work and help them because you have experienced you know, this before, help them see all right. the way around and understand what they're gonna be able to do too. I think that's, and then being able to, well, it sounds like oftentimes you have available all different shifts to first, second, or third. It seems like there are a lot of different combinations for people to find a fit for wherever they're at, at a moment. That's, that's what we try to do. Uh, because if, if you can only work days, but boy, this place is a block from your house and it's third shift how good a fit is that really going to be if you can if you're only a daytime worker mm -hmm. probably not even though it's right there in your backyard so we do have to sometimes talk through those things um you know maybe uh you, you like warehouse work but uh you have um uh dust allergies well depending on the type of a warehouse it may be very clean uh it could be very dusty so those are things to think about too well I think it sounds like a pretty remarkable thing that you have to do. I think I referred to it as magic earlier. Yeah. Seems like a little bit of magic, you know, fitting people here and there. But I think that it's such a conscientious approach. It sounds like you take such a conscientious approach to employees and placing them appropriately for your clients. It's a really impressive organization. And I just can't thank you enough for being here today and sharing some information with us. I'll make sure that your website and all of your contact information is posted. So you can go to the Remedy Intelligent Staffing website to find all the current job openings and the application process there. And then we'll put up some contact information in case you wanna place a phone call for more information. But is there anything that I left out from the conversation? Well, you know, I have a, my, my uh, sales manager likes to say, we should be very proud of what we do because we have the opportunity to help people change their lives. And you know, not, not to pat ourselves on the back, but here's a way for folks who may not have the education or the experience to find a job and get started in the workplace. Uh, we have had a lot of folks, we, we try to work with the, the, the high schools, the community colleges, if they've got kids, students that are, are struggling, that they need something to get them started, can we help? Uh, we try to work with some of the social services agencies. We try to work with other governmental services. Anywhere we can find a person who's interested in working, we wanna try and put them to work. What an incredible community partner. I am really 
I am really grateful that not only you spent some time with us today, but that folks out there know what a commitment to the community and individuals that Remedy Intelligent Staffing has. I think it's an impressive thing when you're out. I mean, it's a business, right? So you're trying to right. make money. Absolutely. But with people in mind, and that's a really impressive thing. So thank you for adding that. I'm so glad you mentioned that. Well, thank you. And thank you for letting us share some information about our business. It's a pleasure. All you folks out there at home, stay tuned for the contact information. And one great big thank you so much for being here, JT. And for all of you out there, thanks for watching. Thank you, Meredith. You're welcome. Take care. You too. Happy New Year, everyone. Right? Everyone. When you visit the Remedy Intelligent Staffing website, you'll be able to search for employment opportunities by city and state. A list of results will appear, and by clicking on the individual job opening, it'll take you to a job description and then directly to the application process. You'll enter personal information, answer some questions, enter your work experience and skills, and then you'll be able to also upload a resume. You're also able to complete this application process in Spanish. Additionally, Remedy Intelligence Staffing has the Better Work Life program, which JT mentioned, available to employees who complete 80 hours of work, and they have a blog, which includes many, many entries on job searching and job keeping. For more information, please visit RemedyStaffing.com or you can call their Cedar Rapids office at 319-294-0290. For more information regarding workforce development and job searching opportunities and skills, you can contact us here at the Cedar Rapids Public Library or visit the Opportunity Center at the Lab Library. We can help you find any number of community partners or resources from the library's website to help your personal workforce development. From all of us here at the Cedar Rapids Public Library, thanks for watching.